Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Thanks for tuning in. Got a bit of a different video. This is a uh, bit of a pickup, a bit of a recent pickup. Uh, this came from the lovely folks at Retro Cartel Collectibles. They are an eBay store. Um, yeah, been sort of keeping an eye on them for, for a while now and finally bit the bullet and, and grabbed a figure I've been hunting for for a while. Um, Elan Slees Bagano from the Outlander Nightclub Encounter. I've got the Obi-Wan half, and this one that's just, for whatever reason, it's eluded me. It's it's not like I haven't seen it, it's just I haven't never bitten the bullet and, and grabbed it until now. Um, so, yeah, I'm I'm excited to have this one, you know. It's been a long time, 20-odd <laughs> years at this point. Um, yeah, like I said, every time I've, I've found one at, at like a toy fair or a toy show or something like that, there's always been something else that's taken priority, but... Look, uh, it's enough. It's enough time. Um, some other figures on the back. Like I said, the Obi-Wan Kenobi. The other side of the bar. This was obviously released in somewhere in Asia at some point, given the big sticker. Um, but yeah, fans choice number four. I don't have that Padme yet. That's a that's one on the on the hit list. But um, I mean, we're just gonna crack this one straight open. Um, and take a look. Alright, so we do have this in the old zip ties, the old cable ties. So there we have the bar piece. I will just get out all these out and then we'll take a look at all the individual bits and pieces. And the figure himself, he's got some of that elastic band, which is sort of broken down and turned into a sort of crumbly, crumbly gooey plastic. <laughs> but that's all right. So we'll take a look at the bar piece here. So again, this will connect up to the other half, just in the middle. I'm just going to leave them laying there for the moment. So this will connect to the other half. We'll go and do that in a moment. We'll just sort of share, share everything. It's nice. I like the inclusion of little things like this. We do have a glass for the bar. And all that sticky stuff on my finger <laughs> from the figure. So I'll, I'll probably go and give this a bit of a soapy wash. Yeah, and the gun definitely needs to be heated up. It's gone a little limp. Just from being squashed in the plastic. And we have some of his other paraphernalia. That he's uh, smuggling. Smuggling through the canteen, trying to sell his goods. Or bads, however you want to put it. So this guy is actually played by an Australian Australian actor by the name of Matt Doran. He was also in The Matrix. And yeah, this is the first first time I've actually held this character, this figure in my hands. So I'm I'm excited. He looks good. Not the sort of funky antenna. Always makes me think of the uh, there was the Visual Dictionary, the locations book, and there's a little bit of a little bit of a cutaway at the look at the Outlander nightclub, and there's go to outside on the sidewalk and this guy's walking by and there's a little arrow that points to it and says you know going home to rethink his life <laughs> just oh it just made me laugh so yeah obviously articulation is a little dated it is very much of the era 2002 2003 and this would have been 02 it's i can't see because of the sticker but yeah 03 by the looks of it But yeah, he's got a got a nice sort of quiff of hair at the front there. It's very rock star. So I wonder how he wonder if and how he There we go. You know what, I'm probably not gonna display him with the blaster, so I'm not even gonna worry about straightening it out. I'm just gonna try and put it straight in the holster. 
and then maybe in three years when I decide to take a look at maybe it's straightened up by then. You want to buy some death sticks? Here we go. Yeah, it doesn't really want to. Doesn't really want to hold that all that well. It looks like it would have at one point. Yeah, it kind of does. It just doesn't really hold in there all that well. We can just sort of lean it down a little bit. We'll have him leant up against the bar. I'll probably just end up with the with the cup on the on the bar when my fingers aren't sticky. I can actually let go of it properly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's let's just take him. I'm gonna leave these two little accessories here on the table. And we'll go up and take a look over here. See so, yeah, as you can see, I've got Obi-Wan here at the bar. He's got the uh, the big stein from Chris Anton. There's the uh there's the bar. Let's join them together. Complete the mega bar. <laughs> so yeah, it kind of just locks in together at the top there. That's cool. Not, not super well. I'm trying to do it one-handed too, so... Work in progress. So yeah, we'll sort of reposition these guys. Now we have Mr. Sleaze Bagano coming up to pest room, trying to sell him death sticks. We'll get a little bit of sticky tack on those feet just to make him stand a little bit better. Oh, Obi-Wan's had a few too many. I've had a few too many drinks. And there's obviously Ahmed Beck, played by Ahmed Best. Cousin, I think, or brother to Keller and Beck, New Jedi. And Daniel Faitoni, played by Anthony Daniels. And yeah, Anakin's arms on the table for some reason, and there is a Kamino Seabird dart. Um, the only person I'm missing from that scene is uh, the Twi'lek, Avida, and um, I think that's all I'm missing from this scene. Um, unfortunately, they haven't really fleshed it out over the years. You got the main two, which is cool. You know, there's probably a spare Anakin I can I can have sort of walking around the bar. I don't know, it's pretty cool. I like having having these guys all set up. Finally, finally finished the two-piece bar. <laughs> After It only took me 20 years. I finally have Elon Sleaze Bagano and Obi-Wan having a drink. So yeah, some cool bits from Attack of the Clones here. And this is sort of primarily from the beginning of the film up here. So we've got Attack of the Clones. I do need Zam Wessel's speeder at some point. And the Senators, Senate Guards, and Camino. And they sort of cross over into some Tatooine decks. So yeah, Elan Sleaze Bagano, pretty good looking figure. I like him. It's nice to have him in the collection finally. He's going to sit right there. I'll muck around and get him to stand a little bit better later on, but for the purposes of this video, that will do. I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be with you for some more videos very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.